This presentation will demonstrate the technique for the fixation of a linear mandibular symphysis fracture using two 1mm thick matrix mandible mini plates. This method provides stable fixation by relying on the bony buttressing of the fracture. It is technically less demanding, but not as stable as lag screw fixation. The learning objectives of this presentation are the importance of correct occlusion and anatomical reduction to reproduce the original shape of the mandible before fracture fixation, and the correct technique for applying two 1.0mm thick matrix mandible mini plates. The matrix mandible plate and screw system can be used for all mandibular trauma and reconstruction indications. All plates feature conical locking technology for a reliable screw to plate construct. The plates are available in thicknesses of 1.0 to 2.8 mm. In this exercise, two 1.0 mm thick plates will be used. Locking and non locking screws are available in diameters of 2.0 to 2.9 mm. In this exercise, 2.0 mm non locking screws will be used. One screwdriver blade fits all the screws. All of the screws can be used with all of the plates. All of the plates, screws and instruments are colour coded. Here is the clinical situation. Preoperative x-rays are needed in two planes, usually a panoramic and a PA view of the mandible. CT scans may also be used. The standard approach for fractures of the symphysial region is intraoral. The instruments needed are the reduction forceps with points, two bending pliers, the 1.5mm drill bit with 6mm stop, and a self-holding screwdriver. Before open reduction and fixation in the dentate patient, the correct occlusion must be re-established. For this exercise, Ernst ligatures have been selected to hold the occlusion. However, it should be noted that many surgeons prefer MMF with arch bars because of the increased stability. The model requires two 1.5mm monocortical holes to be drilled at the superior border on either side of the fracture to help when placing the reduction forceps. The line connecting the holes should be perpendicular to the line of the fracture. In the clinical situation, caution should be taken not to harm the tooth roots. The mandible halves are manipulated until anatomic reduction is achieved. This fracture is to be repaired with the two mini plate technique. The first 4 hole 1 mm thick matrix mandible mini plate is applied to the inferior border of the mandible. The plate is contoured with the bending pliers. The plate is positioned a few millimetres superior to the inferior border using the holding forceps. A 1.5 mm drill bit with 6 mm stop is used to drill monocortically through the plate hole next to the fracture. A 2 mm screw 6 mm in length is inserted. However, it is not fully tightened until the final reduction and plate position are confirmed. A second screw is inserted on the other side of the fracture in the same way. Both screws are tightened. The remaining screws are placed. Now, a second 1mm thick matrix mandible mini plate is applied. This plate is placed below the tooth roots in order to avoid damaging them. It must be confirmed that the reduction is adequate, fixation is complete, and that no gap exists on the lingual aspect that would lead to occlusal disturbance and mandibular widening. The reduction forceps is removed. After osteosynthesis with too many plates in isolated median and paramedian fractures, no MMF is needed. However, it is recommended that the patient stay on a soft diet for four weeks. The mandible is now stable and limited function is allowed. 
The post-operative x-ray illustrates the clinical result. One alternative would be a six-hole, 1.5mm thick, matrix mandible straight plate placed along the lateral aspect of the inferior border using 2.0mm locking screws inserted bicortically. This technique requires a stable arch bar to be placed across the fracture line. The arch bar must be maintained for five to six weeks to provide a second point of fixation. This presentation has shown the importance of correct occlusion and anatomical reduction to reproduce the original shape of the mandible before fracture fixation, and the correct technique for applying two 1.0mm thick matrix mandible mini plates. Although this method of fixation is stable and technically non-demanding, it is not as stable as lag screws or compression plating.